Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Today went to the uh, Salvation Army thrift store and uh, they finally got in some new bags of uh, costume jewelry. I've been going there the last couple days and you know it was the same old bags. Um, and the lady said, oh, the person who bags the stuff is away. But I guess they finally came back because uh, I picked out this bag, $19.99. See, it's my receipt. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna open it up uh, with you guys uh, today. So whatever you see now is exactly at the same time I'm seeing it. So if you look at the bag, uh, they had some goodies in it. Some little bits of silver, uh, but I really picked out this bag because there was a really interesting ring in it. Let me see. It looked like one of those old school um, seal rings, you know, like how they used to uh, get hot wax and seal the, uh, the envelope. And it was some sort of carved red material. I don't know if it was made of glass, uh, I doubt it's plastic, or maybe stone, but I could see that there was a silver hallmark inside, well I know it was a hallmark, I don't know if it was a silver hallmark, but inside the ring itself, and let me see, where oh where, but uh, mainly decided to buy this bag because of that ring. Well, we'll find it when we find it. So I'm opening it up right now. Breaking the seal. All right, so first of all, some sort of brass bracelet. Some heavy necklace. So the all right, the keep keep side is on this side, and the uh, I guess um, trash side is this side. Now this almost looks like lapis. Well, put it there for now. Interesting brass and stone bracelet. Some religious bracelets. There's a few watches in this bag, uh, but I didn't notice anything special. Mostly quartz watches, basically battery operated. Feel, feels like glass beads. Another watch, quartz. Looks like an elephant pendant, very huge one, made of aluminum. Or for my viewers in the UK, al aluminium. This is pretty cute. Ooh, hair. It says panda, and it looks like some sort of a bookmarker. That's interesting. Hmm. Little picture. Really. Kio Beta Vincento Maria. Hmm, interesting. Another of those huge pendants. This is interesting.
a lot of bling. Oh, this is neat. Some sort of old watch face. Let me see closely. Simier Deluxe Jeweled Anti-Magnetic Swiss Made. And the, it must be very old because on the very back it says it's stamped aluminum. So I, I know back in the early days of uh, aluminum, it was actually considered uh, more rare than gold. We're talking about like 1800s. Uh, but I don't think this watch is that old. But after they um, found a way to, I guess, separate it from the ore, purify it, then the value went, uh, went down quite dramatically. Well, that's pretty neat. Nice movement. Hmm, interesting. Put that in the interesting pile. That's pretty interesting little earring. Little, looks like a butterfly pendant. It says Av Maria 2000. Hmm. Little brooch. Let me look what's on the back. It says here Marvella. Marvella on the back. I don't know if that's considered designer. This is a shower curtain ring, some plastic ring. Some beads. Now this is interesting. This looks like uh, amber. Hmm. When I have time, I'll look through it. Maybe there's a, there's a piece with a bug in it. Who knows? that off the side. Some more beads. Have a closer look at that. Just says Italy. Doesn't say silver or anything. Some more religious medallions made of aluminum. Crucifix. Hmm, money clip. Let's see if it says anything here. Nope, and it looks like it's gold plated and the plating is wearing off, but the center, there's like some piece of wood in the middle. All right. Here is some sort of copper bracelet. Timex watch. Smashed up. Some sort of necklace with a pendant. Uh, base metal. Yorkshire Design Inc. 1979. I think it's 1978 or 9. Pewter. So it says here Copper Mountain. Here's a ring. Let's see what's it, if it says anything. Hmm. There's a mark on the inside. Well, 
Well, I see the colors rubbing off, so whatever mark probably means nothing. Put that off the side. Hmm, this is interesting. You clip this on. See if there's any precious metal marks. Nope, doesn't look like it. Now, from the outside, I found a few of these. This has a W. Looks like, you know, it's been engraved on the edges. But the back says Burks, five years. So it was some sort of award for someone, a keychain award. Let's see if it says anything else, like Sterling or, or something. Mm. It does not. But this is something I will have to research. Hmm. Something like for five years of service, maybe, for a company. I guess I'll have to check this mark. Maybe it's West Westin House or some sort of manufacturer. And I know there's a few of them in here. Here's a ring. The copper is showing through the plating. Garbage. Another of those keychains. Clip on earring. Oh, here's that ring. Uh, let me see if I'll, I can put it the right way up. Okay, I think it's this way. Now, any anyone who knows how to read Arabic, if you could tell me what this says, uh, is this someone's name or title? And I am just gonna have a quick peek, close up. It looks like some sort of natural material. It doesn't look like plastic. I mean, it could be glass, but... Um, Inside does have some numbers, and I'll just see if I can read it. Hmm. Possibly says S925. Can't really tell. Well, it does look does look like a silver ring. But uh, this really intrigued me because uh, it is engraved like a seal, what they call it intaglio, where it's cut out. And yeah, you can imagine someone sealing a ring and shh, making their mark on it, or maybe like a signature. But that is pretty cool. Let's see. Can you see it closer that way? Okay. And the mark is right on the inside here. I basically bought the bag for this ring. And what else is there? Oh, this is interesting. Looks like a bracelet. Now, could this be real diamond? I doubt it, but I will look at it more closely. It looks like tarnished, like real silver though. And let me see. I think the chains are not pinched together, but actually soldered together, which is a good sign of uh, better quality jewelry, like real jewelry. Hmm. Looks like this is definitely a keeper. I will put that off to the side. So are you guys having fun searching with me this uh, fresh bag of costume jewelry? Hmm. Another medallion, religious medallion, aluminum, another one. A 
this is pretty. But pretty don't cut it. This looks like silver. See that? Uh, definitely a religious metal. Looks like Mary with a whole bunch of little kids surrounding her. Um, no mark, no silver mark, but it just has that look of silver, like very tarnished. And it's very tiny. So definitely put that off the side. Another matching earring to go with this. Another clip on earring. We see we saw that earlier or something similar to it. Hmm. Panther head ring. Okay, another of these keychains. So that's three of them. Some fake earrings. I think this is a silver earring because the um, I guess what do you call it the back part uh, I think it what is it called a butterfly or something I don't know uh, it says 925 I just have to get a magnifying glass and see if there's any marking on the uh, post nothing on the back but it does look as, looks like silver put that off the side and there's this little ring I don't see any marking so, oh, I see copper coming through the color. Oh, well, this looks like a real silver ring. See, it's all black. Let's see if there's a mark inside. Oh, it looks like it. 925. Hmm. And it's probably a uh, cubic zirconia in the middle there. And the mark is like right on, right on the inside. Let me see how I can point it out to you guys. It's actually marked in two places on the inside. But it's, I don't know, it's really dark. I don't know if you could see that right on the inside there. All right, so two nice rings. This is interesting. Rosary. Now it's coming down to the nitty gritty. Another medallion. Now this bag wasn't like, you know, crazy lucky. Don't you love those crazy lucky ones where there's like a lot of little gold bits and some sterling bits? But you know, you can't win them all. Uh, that reminds me, when I bought this bag, uh, you know, after a while, you sort of recognize people by their voices, just like mine, of course. But uh, I could hear or recognize two people behind me talking, and they were um, uh, flea market vendors from the flea market uh, in, in my uh, city. And um, they were just waiting to pay. Um, I was just at the counter. And um, they had one bracelet held, well, one of the gentlemen had a bracelet held for him from the case. And I had a chance to glimpse it. It was like a silver band type of bracelet. And it was carved with uh, 
it's like a First Nations artist carving or, you know, like Aboriginal, uh, North American Indian type of, you know, with uh, whales and, and uh, other animals, uh, stylized carvings. And um, it was only like $20. Um, and I, I asked him, I said, hi, and you know, he recognized me and I recognized him. I go, hey, is it initialed? Does it have the artist's signature in there? And you know, he's trying to keep on the, you know, down low, right? So he just sort of nodded his head, you know, said lightly yeah, or quietly, mm -hmm, yeah. So uh, usually those artist signed pieces by indigenous artists, us and um, usually they go for about two, 200 plus, like could be two to $400. Um, and he pretty much bought it for the silver value, which was pretty cool. I wish I found it, <laughs> but um, uh, I think he probably had it held before I even got to the counter. Um, but you know, as I said, sometimes it's your luck, sometimes it's someone else's. So, so what would I do with another bracelet? Just throw it, you know, into my man cave and uh, hoard it. At least that guy, you know, he, he actually sells it, makes a living and um, lives off of the proceeds. So, hey, I, I'm not gonna take away someone's livelihood if I can help it. But uh, yeah, um, let me see, there's some more earrings, nothing. All right, enough of the babbling. We're coming down to the very last bit. All right, these earrings look interesting. All right, maybe, maybe did I find a little bit of gold? Possibly. These do look like gold, these little pearl earrings. I just have to get a magnifying glass and look at the ends, but we'll just put it on the good side for now. But yeah, um, I think that's about it. There you have it. So, not much from this bag. Well, it's only 20 bucks, but we got, here's a recap. We got a uh, sterling, I'm assuming sterling silver because I don't see any markings, but it's probably there. Just have to look at it closely. Uh, bracelet, chain. We got uh, three possibly silver keychains made by a reputable jeweler in Canada. Long history, Burks, stamped, and five-year awards. Usually, five-year awards, they won't be too cheap on five-year awards, right? Uh, we got this ring, which pretty much made me buy the bag. I blame it on the ring. So, again, have a nice look at it. Anyone can help me translate. Very interesting. A little silver medallion, religious silver medallion. All right, silver earring, possibly gold pearl earrings. Really old Swiss watch or parts of a Swiss watch. Too bad it wasn't a gold watch. I, then I wouldn't mind, you know, bits and pieces. Another 925 silver ring, pretty ring, so tarnished. So put it over here and a, a string of um, amber. Pretty neat. Let's see if it smells. Sort of smells, let me scratch it up. Well, there you have it. Um, this is what I found in the jewelry bag. Uh, not bad. Um, I I found better. Um, but hey, it was fun. Hey, you guys gotta say it was fun, right? But 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.